morning. Ira Epstein with your morning flash update for this March 30th, 2020, just getting on to 920 a.m. Daylight Standard Time. Well, a difference and a big one. You know, we've been walking into Sunday nights where the market goes down, sometimes limit down, follows through on Monday mornings. Well, we did get a big down, so let's not under let's not underestimate what went on, but it wasn't the limit. We got down to 20,778 in the Dow, and here we are almost a thousand points higher, 900 higher. You're over 100 off the low in the E-mini S&P. The NASDAQ, 100, well, let's call it not 100, 80 points off the lows, and even another 50 points off the low in the Russell. These are important numbers because the market's changing its tone. If it carries through today and you have a strong Monday, it might mean that you go back into the old times when we were reversing back down on a Tuesday. But more important, the news over the weekend did not overwhelm the market. That is important. Gold market got as high last night as $1,673.60. Now it's $25 lower than that. The dollar index is soaring today. Now we have month end squaring, and that's putting big pressure on just about all the currencies as the scramble for dollars goes on so people can clean up their books and their dollar debts that they have and so on. On the energy market, it just continues to sink away as there's just plain too much energy at this point in time given the storage facilities we have, be it gasoline and other areas, they just keep slipping away. I heard today that in Oklahoma, they were $1.58 a gallon. Boy, that's, that's really low. They're normally the least expensive in the country. Coffee continues good, sugar market backing off, and grain market's very stable. What I want to see is some stability come into the market. No more the limit up, limit downs in the uh, Dow Jones, the S&Ps or any of that. That will make life a lot easier to start trading for all of us. Now, when looking at the day's data, the U.S. National Association of Realtors came out and this is a February number, so we, we all understand we've been quarantined a good part of or stay at home orders for nearly a month now. But in February, 2.4% jump. They were only looking for the market down 1.3, so that's really a big number. Uh, pending home sales up 9.4%. The prior was 5.7. Uh, at 9.30 this morning, very shortly, we're going to get the update from the Dallas Fed. I think we should all look at that and get a feel for what they're looking like. In Eurozone, uh, the fall in the consumer confidence was the lowest seen in many, many years. In other words, a record. How's that? 2.2% uh, decline. Economic sentiment fell to 93.4% another new record. Germany's preliminary March CPI was up a tenth, and that was in line with the forecast for the market. And in looking at how bad things are in Italy, you keep hearing this, there is good news. The government is asking in the southern part to open three auto factories. So as bad as Lombardy is, and it's bad, but it seems to be stable finally, the southern part of the regions, well, if they're asking to open up factories, that's a ray of light, isn't it? And that, that's how I have to consider it. You know, one of the things that we do here is we try to bring you information. And during this COVID-19, uh, if, if, what should we call this, a panic mode? Well, we continue to write. And the information we write covers all the futures markets, options on futures, spread strategy. So it's not just the grains, not just the softs be it the financials, they're written by pros. We keep writing, we're all working from home, but in some ways we get more done because there's not the usual clatter going on in an office that always takes place. We cover all these different sectors for you. And if there's ever a time you wanna see what we do and listen to our oral commentaries, cause yes, during the day if you have our QT platform, our charting platform, we broadcast orally during the day. And how we do that is if you miss a broadcast, just go to the media section of it and it'll play for you. And you're going to get David Hightower and a number of us. How do you get this? It's simple, folks. Go to www.irapstein.com. You'll see in the very bottom of the word uh, page, free offerings. Just click it. It takes you to where you want. If you're watching me on YouTube, click right up here. That'll get you going. I'm in my new studio. Things uh, should look about the same to you. And now that I'm getting into the loop of it, the broadcast will come out uh, on a regular basis. So.
I'm in place. I'm Ira Epstein. You have a good day, and I'll see you this afternoon on our end-of-the-day market wrap-ups. Take care now.